Ah, Western, Western, Western. I'm not even mad. All right, guys, I got another video for y'all, man. And yes, I have on a Swift, a Swift shirt. These are the shirts I got when I was high for Swift months back, and I still wear them because they're very comfortable. But, um, yeah, first of all, hit the bell, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I got another video for y'all, man. It's Chuck AB. All right, so this is going on with me. If y'all been following me, I tested out last Friday. This Friday, this is now Monday. DM hit me up this morning, like, yo, I'm ready to be ready to go, boom, boom. I had my shopping, my truck is in shop status from, um, for Friday, you know, I have a check engine light and a, and a, um, a blinking check engine light. They did diagnose the onion knock sensor, so they're waiting for the part. So, they have a bunch of, um, parts for the, for the, um, internationals, but they don't have a lot of parts for the freight liners, because, you know, they have way more internationals than freight liners and Volvos. So, you know, I bite the bullet, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being patient. You know, it's good to be patient. You have to be patient in trucking, too. And sometimes you just have to wait. It sucks because I really, for the last couple of months, I've been spending a lot of money. So I'm really trying to start running and trying to control my money the best way I can to figure out how to, to run these lanes, figure out how to get my own way of how I'm going to make money with Western, you know? And it's being delayed again. And I'm not even mad. You know, I did want a freight liner. I did get my freight liner. So on the positive note, I did get my freight liner. It's a pretty decent freight liner. I'm not gonna lie, it was in it was in good condition. Other than there was a little split on the bumper. Um, you know, somebody was driving this way before me, have two hundred and uh or how many people, I don't know, but two hundred and thirty one thousand miles and three hundred and twelve. Usually they start giving these trucks in when you start hitting 300, depending on if you want to keep the truck. But I like this truck a lot, so I'm going to um, try to keep this as long as I can. So I'm going to try, you know. But for me, just getting this truck, I want everything to be working properly. So with all these lights, check engine, and look, I'm going to show y'all just how real it is. So yeah, both of that, the check one goes away, but this one, just stay the, the, the solid one that stays on it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on. I'm um I'm waiting. Uh, I was like, ah, let me find some time to do something. So I do have when I was training, I did so much training with these things, I got unlimited showers with pilots. So I said, let me go get a shower. You know, I spent in a hotel last night, but I don't want to be spending no money. I want to spend no more money. So I gotta be smart now. I can't spend no more money. And I'm like uh, yeah, so this is going on with me, man. I'm waiting. I didn't even start running yet. They don't start running yet because I want to run for at least three three weeks and then go home. And then I could um show y'all how I'm going uh, to get this truck together. <laughs> you feel me? You know, I got a couple things, but it's not what I want to do to really show y'all. So. I'm um, not doing the video I'm doing when I'm going uh, to get the truck situated. I did get my CD hooked up, a little old CD I got. It's nothing crazy, but it's the most high-tech one, but that's all I need. I mean, it ain't like I'm be conversating with these people anyway, but it is, it's good to get CB because, you know, it's heads up when you um on the road, you know, oncoming traffic, somebody can tell you what's going on. If it's going to be an accident, you're going to be held up for a while, or you could detour, something, whatever, or weather, whatever, they'll put you on the game. But anywho... I'm just giving y'all a quick update, man. And I'm not even mad at Western, you know what I'm saying? They are, they are. I'm not surprised by anything, so I'm not even stressing. But um, I had to go keep checking to be like, they go, oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Uh, uh, nobody told me nothing. If I go in there and say something or ask them about my truck, they want nothing. But they, they don't know nothing because they're waiting for a part. So I figured like what I did was, <laughs> since I've been waiting all this time, maybe they could change my bumper that got the split in it. There's a split on the bottom, like whoever Joe looked like he, 
I don't know what he drove to split like the, there's like a split. But she did say that they don't cover, they ain't gonna change it unless it's about to fall off. But it's a big old split. But it split past, past the um, it almost split the damn license plate. So maybe they, I don't know. I'm hoping they change it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like everything intact, but it's okay. It's not that serious. But anywho, that's it, y'all, man. Y'all be blessed. One.